but like Paul's like a hyper intelligent individual, and if he actually didn't know, <clears throat> like imagine the layman who yeah. thinks that you know yeah. the Rock is fucking clean, for example. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So it does the Rock say he's clean? He has implied it pretty heavily, but he also doesn't end up in scenarios where he gets asked point blank, whereas Liver King goes out of his way to fucking lean into it and use it as like a marketing spiel. The Rock should come clean right now. He should make a video <laughs> yeah. in response to the Liver King video. Yeah. Yeah. I need to talk to you because The Rock's been lying. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. The There's it, not a fucking chance in hell he's clean. No. Not a chance in hell. As big as The Rock is... At 50? What was wild is he came out, okay, and I get this is like coincides mm -hmm. with the message he would want to push too. And I don't think it's like disingenuous necessarily, but it's like he was on a men's health interview and he talks about how his number one priority is longevity now. The and, Rock? Yeah, and I'm like, dude, like everything you're doing is like the hyper opposite of that. Like in terms of a diet, a lifestyle, potentially, but like the... The drug exposure to maintain the physique to then do the superhero roles to do the whatever at yeah. his age, like it's clearly not longevity focused. It's very much like how much can I milk this right now with my brand sort of thing. Well, we're not when you're looking at a physique. Let's look at a physique of the Rock, like a full jacked Rock. Find find the Rock at his most jackety jacked. He's I mean, like pretty fucking peaked in terms of like it, the last few years. He's definitely like turned it up a notch at fifty. Plot. Yeah. That's natural, bro. <laughs> that's uh, Yeah, that's, how could you think otherwise? Eats a lot of sushi. Yeah. <laughs> but <clears throat> point is, it's like you can't even get there with HRT. That's yeah. not HRT. No. Like that, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, is this pro longevity? Like, of course not. And it's. No, he's so massive and he's so different than he was when he was 30. Yeah, when you're in your 20s and obviously mindful of your image and, you know, you're still working out like a maniac, mm -hmm. you're like a top tier. Like, he's a genetic marvel, as is anyways when he was natural. Like yes. He, so to have all of a sudden 30 years later, like, you're in better form than you were in your 20s, like, it's, it's just fucking obvious, obviously. Yeah. I mean, um, this is okay, but there's some better videos of him um, where it just – you know, shows this preposterous physique that, you know, there's a responsibility that you have to people that are listening to you. And if you don't want to talk about it, that's one thing. Yeah. But if you do talk about it, there's a responsibility that you have to people that are listening to you. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to be honest. Yeah. Which is why I'm honest about it. I just, I don't think there's anything wrong with taking hormone replacement. I think it's actually wise. Yeah. I think it's healthier. I feel way better than I did before I was doing it. Mm -hmm. And I started doing it when I was like 37, 38. And even then, um, I was just taking like the cream. I was taking uh, testosterone cream, and like right away, I was like, "Oh my god, it feels so much better!" Like yeah. everything felt better. I don't think it's wrong. I think it's smart, but you got to be honest. What do you think an A-list actor should do if they were asked point blank in an interview on like a movie, like they're promoting a movie that they just did, where they just peaked their physique, and it's clear to the person who's can discern what's going on, like Thor. Yeah, let's just say Hemsworth is in an interview. Yeah. Do you think – what do you think he should answer when he's asked point blank? Like, did you use any enhancement? To... Well, Mickey Rourke did. Did he? Shout out to Mickey Rourke. Yeah, when Mickey Rourke did The Wrestler, he told mm -hmm. everybody. He's like – he did – I think he did one of those shows, like uh, Letterman or Colbert or something like that. And he was like, oh, I was on a ton of shit. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> oh, I talk a lot of stuff. Because like, there's definitely an argument. Mickey's kind of wild, though, you know? Yeah. There's definitely an argument to be made that when you have such an impressionable and massive audience that if you say this is what it took to get here, it very much could influence the trajectory of certain younger men who are trying to aspire yes. to be like you. So, like, I see both sides of the, the coin for sure. So it's kind of an interesting scenario for some of the actors because I think just uh, unspokenly some of these interviewers know to not ask the question. Right. But, like, it's just an interesting – scenario in which i would wonder what the best answer is if it's just point blank yes well let me tell you the case there was a guy who got really jacked for a superhero role and he did a friend of mine's podcast mm -hmm. and he said to him before the podcast i'll talk about anything but do not ask me about drugs uh, i just please don't talk to me about steroids or drugs hmm. it was the number one thing he did not want to talk about hmm. i think studios and the 
you know, the uh, massive amount of money that's involved in a film, like the, the one thing they don't want is to jeopardize any of the potential income, right? Yeah. And if you come out and say, you know, the only way I got this way for the Hulk is I, I had to take massive amounts of steroids and this is just how it is. People are gonna get upset. Oh, you cheated! And yeah. there's this, there's a mentality as you go further down the line that people are less and less educated about the realities of fitness and physiques. As you go further and further down the line, there's a mentality where people are like Barry Bonds cheated, Mark McGuire cheated, those yeah. are cheaters. Or Lance Armstrong. Yeah, Lance Armstrong cheated, yeah. and they're just uneducated. And unfortunately, we're playing to that. And mainstream television is so woefully piss poor at interviewing these people and pressing them. Yeah. And they, they let them off the hook every time. Every single time, whether it's Thor, whether it's Hemsworth, or any of these people who got super fucking jacked for a movie. Like Wolverine, mm -hmm. like cut the fucking shit. <laughs> it was wild as apparently he's coming back to be Wolverine again. But they're going to CGI it. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. said he he can't do that anymore, mm. and you know he's Fair. probably. I mean, yeah, and yeah. and he's also he's in his fifties. Yeah. He's probably like I am not doing. Yeah, he's like, I'm cycle. not gonna like, commit to fucking killing myself potentially for. Yeah, the I mean, what do you think a guy like that gets on to get that big? I mean, what kind of stuff? I've never gotten that big. So when you get that big, like, what do you want? Well, Wolverine, I feel like his physique was largely low body fat, more so than like. A massive amounts of size like he yeah had, and that one that's 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 a good point. the most stacked he's been is that picture right there basically and you can just see it in the traps like yeah that's actually achievable yeah guys I, guys have definitely that paul sklar guy is built like that it's just in the in the condensed time frame and the unique circumstances imposed on these individuals who right. go, go into the prep not looking like anything like that's where it gets unrealistic and they're just completely transforming in a matter of like 12 weeks right yeah it looks pretty jacked there yeah look he got massive he probably took some shit yeah but like hemsworth got bigger than that right yeah but he also has better genetics for sure mm, yeah I, I actually talked to his trainer it was uh for the first role he ever did the first thor movie he had this guy it was like uh chris duffin or something i forget the guy's name but that guy outsourced a trainer who is local to Chris to, uh, to work with him. And that guy claims he had, I asked him point blank. He was like, I have no idea what they were doing. 